Welcome back. In this first episode, I'm going to show you where and how to obtain a 3D body scan from the 3DSK website. And then we're going to go and import it into Dash Studio alongside the Genesis figure. And we're going to line those two things up so that we're going to go and export both figures for the next step, which is wrapping. This is important to know how to do this properly. Otherwise, we won't be able to import the resulting morph back into Dash Studio into the Genesis figure later. Let's get started. This is the website that I'm talking about, 3D.sk. And they have a ton of stuff there from reference images for skin textures, as well as posing references and anything and everything in between, as well as 3D full body, as well as head scans. They also have expression scans. Very cool thing. I recommend you browse this website and just check it out. Everything they have is kind of freely available to view. And then you can take out a subscription or you can buy a credit kind of packet and then download the assets if and when you decide you want to go ahead. But it's really nice that you'll be able to see anything that they have basically for free. And then if you want to use it, you have to pay. And you do that up here. So this is where you log in. This is where you sign up. Sometimes they have exciting offers like this 40% flash sale that I have sadly missed. But fret not, uh, DAS have an exciting discount code that you can use on checkout. And I'll put that discount code into the description of this video. So on the front page here of 3D.sk, you scroll down under 3D assets here, and there is a section down here under base body scan. There's also animal scans and weapon scans and all kinds of things. So do check it out. It's fantastic. So 3D base body scan, I'm going to go and open that. And this is now going to show you a lot of people. And they all look kind of, you know, gray in their approximated a pose. Some are postured better than others, but that's, you know, that's humans for you. So they basically stood there and were photographed with about 160 Canon cameras from all angles. And that resulted in about kind of three terabytes of data, if I understand it correctly. And then the software stitches this together and turns it into a 3D model. Very exciting stuff. So you can, you can pick any of these people that you want. And I'm going to go and pick maybe... There's also bundles here that you can get here. This is a bundle that I picked up recently. And I might go and use this woman here, base scan of Cassandra's body. This is what it looks like. You get a larger preview of one pose, but you also get the all round views here. And when you're happy about it, then you can see the price here. That's 30 credits that comes off your account. And then you go and download it. And that gives you something in this case, that's about 2.3 million polygons, which is high. I have already downloaded her, so let me go and bring her in to Das Studio. Actually, I'm going to go and bring in my Genesis figure first. That's under figures and my smart content under figures. And I'm going to use Genesis 8.0 for that. 8.1 will also work. I'm going to use a specific version here, not the actual figure here. I'm going to use the def load. And I'm going to do that because, first of all, it comes without skin textures. But uh, the other thing is that the def load comes without eyelashes. And we don't want to use the eyelashes because that will confuse the wrapping software. So the def load already has them removed. If you do use this figure, then make sure you select the eyelashes here and remove them. So there we go, gray Genesis figure. Now let's go and bring in Cassandra's body and see what she looks like in comparison. This is a very detailed model, so that may take some time. Import options, I would suggest you just go ahead with the regular Das Studio option here and then hit accept. And that'll work just fine takes a moment she is rather large and there we go uh yes so that is my body scan and you can tell it's not quite lined up with where the genesis figure is which is kind of here in the middle so something needs to be done about the size so let's go and scale her up or down i'll go and select my body scan head over to the parameters tab into the scale option and i might just try 10 percent, and we'll see where that gets us Whoop, there we go. Much smaller. Don't know if that's the correct size yet. If you want to line these two figures up on the same screen, you can select the Genesis figure, shift select your body scan and hit control F. And that'll line both of these guys up or girls in our case. I'm going to go and look straight from the left orthographic view. Do that again. And that's both these figures. Now let me go and pick my universal manipulator tool up here. You can also get that under tools universal. I'm going to go and 
left click and drag that little green arrow and move her kind of closer to my Genesis figure. Just roughly. There, Control F will center her on the screen. It's the equivalent to clicking this little square icon here. That'll do the same. And with multiple objects selected, it'll focus on both objects. That's quite nice. So we need to bring her a little bit closer here. And once again, this is nice to do that in the orthographic view. And we're nearly there. There is a node in the wrapping software that we could use for that, but it sometimes has a problem importing a 3D object from a scan. So sometimes that's just not, not working very well. Okay, so we looks like we need to also angle her to the right a little bit if we're looking here from the left. So it's going to be on the rotation. And I'm going to go and just try something. That's the wrong direction. Let's go and try maybe minus 10 in the X direction. That's almost okay. Maybe we'll try minus 11. Dastry is a little bit sluggish, but that's only because the figure is so, so heavy on the geometry. Let's move her forward and just align up the feet here with one another. Kind of okay. Let's go have a look from the front now. And we can see that she needs to come over a little bit further here. Okay, no worries. I think the rotation is also not quite right. When you do rotational alignments in Das Studio, have a look at where the 3D manipulator is pointing. If you feel that it's not pointing the way it should be, i.e. the axis moving in ways that are a little bit unpredictable, you may want to go down to tool settings here and then change this up here from local coordinates to world coordinates. And when you line this up with another figure, it's best to have this on world coordinates. Most 3D applications have this way of changing how the manipulator behaves. So it looks like I need to line up the Z rotation as well. So let's see if I can make that happen. Perhaps five if I go ahead and look at her feet. Looks like the rotation is okay. She needs to come up a little bit so that the feet at the ground are lined up with the Genesis feet or as close as. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but you know, the more work we invest now, the better it will be for the wrapping software in the next step. So it looks like the hips are almost lined up. The feet are almost lined up. I think I can live with this. Ah, but the top rotation, I think the Y rotation, that needs to be lined up. So they're still not quite in the same space here. So let's have a look from the top and have a look at the Y rotation. This is probably not a lot. Okay, I think that is pretty much there. The head isn't exactly in the right location, but the feet are and the hands are. And I think that's good enough for me and hopefully good enough for the wrapping software as well. Yeah, it looks like we're not quite right here. So I think I'm still not happy with the Z rotate. Maybe that's more like two. And then let's go move her over to the left a little bit more. So you think this is costing a lot of time, but I'm telling you, this is important to have these women pretty much in the same position. Scale is another aspect that you might want to think about. So 10, I've just picked 10 because that was kind of a feeling I had that may not have been absolutely accurate. So it, I think it is, but sometimes when you're working with 3D scans, you may find that the object is actually much smaller or larger than your figure. So in that case, look at reference points like the feet. So if the feet, if I had made her as tall as Genesis, then she would now have, a body scan would now have had two large feet in comparison to the Genesis figure. So, you know, one of those things. I think the X alignment, the X rotate is still not quite correct. Let's try minus 10 here. I see this is actually, let's try minus 15 there. I think that's, that's got it. If you want to follow along with Cassandra, then these are exactly my values. Minus 15 for the X rotation, minus 16 for the Y rotation, 2 for the Z rotation, and I'm using 10% for the scale. And then the translation is minus 180, let's call it minus 180, and then 1110 for the Y and 187 for the Z, just in case you want to have these exact values. Okay, time to export both our figures. I'm going to go and hide my scan and select my Genesis figure. And I'm going to go and make sure that she gets exported at 
base resolution. And we're going to do that because whatever we're exporting is going to be our clean mesh that we're going to wrap around the body scan. And the intention is for us to import it later into the same figure again to create a morph. And this is only going to work in base resolution. So let's head over here to the parameters tab with our Genesis figure selected under mesh resolution, switch this from high resolution to base resolution. And then you can see that if you zoom in closely, that your figure gets a little bit chunkier around the ears and around all the rounded parts. That's just, that's just fine for us. With that out of the way, let's go over to File Export and pick a good folder that we can go and find later on. I'm going to pick my desktop, create a new folder. I'll call it 3DSK perhaps. And in it, I'm going to create a new folder called OBJ is. You can also call it DAS exports, absolutely up to you. In here, I'm going to call my figure Genesis 8 base, or in fact, Genesis 8 female base, just in case I'm using a male character next. So these settings are fairly straightforward. All you need to do here is from the drop down menu, pick the DAS Studio preset, and that'll sort you right out. Nothing else to do here. Hit accept, and that's our base resolution Genesis figure exported. Now we're going to go and make her invisible with a little eyeball icon on the scene tab and bring back our 3D scan with it selected. Once again, head over to File, Export, and also in OBJs in the same folder, I'm going to call her Cassandra Scan, just so that I remember what that is. Same export options apply here. Das Studio preset and hit accept. That is all we need to do. This is going to take a little bit longer because it's a fairly high res mesh that we have here. And that's pretty much everything that we need to do for now in DAS Studio. In the next part, we're going to have a look at how we can import both these models into this magic wrapping software and see how we can wrap the Genesis figure around our body scan. Stay tuned for that.